welcome back to United Tradesman Academy. All right, guys, so we got to call out a uh, lady's uh, electrical panel is getting inconsistent power. So she's contacted the, uh, the power company to come out and check the meter. And they said that's okay. So uh, now we're going to check the power, uh, incoming power, uh, or to see if she has a bad main circuit breaker. looks up there okay guys so this is the meter right here you can see these wires that are coming in right here it's two big ones at the bottom trace them around and they should go up right up here and go right up here so let's get my meter Let's see what we got on power there. Let's check it to ground. One twenty. 120 so I'm not sure what issue she's having because uh, it's showing that it has 120 on there and you can't easily flip it back Let's see if we got 240 on there yeah we got 240 on there so not really sure what the problem is here yet Okay guys, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go down and check all the breakers. From ground to So I only got 18 volts on that one right there. So on that one, I only got 18 volts on that third, double pole 30. Let's keep going, checking the other ones. Yep. So it looks like she just have a brad breaker right here. And there's a little dead little critter right there too. Okay guys, if you can see, this is what I found right here. If you look at that. And that's that style of breaker. And you can see up in there. Okay guys, can you see how bad that looks in there, that bus? So I'm gonna recommend that they get this replaced the whole panel uh i'm gonna recommend a whole panel replacement if you look at the back of this breaker right here look at that and you see that that white that means that um it's got hot see white spots like that this coloration on the breaker is white that means there's heat Okay guys, so what I end up doing here is removing, I'm gonna remove this breaker right here from out of service because you can see that it's not safe. So anyway, I just talked to her. She is gonna go ahead and upgrade the panel here because she has several more breakers that are melting just like this. So um, I told her to get her power back on right now, you know, just for today. And we can finish the install over the weekend over this entire panel here. Pier. Um, I'm gonna put her in. See, you got two. Th you got double pole 30 right here. I put a new 30, double pole 30 in, and then you got two 20s. So I added a 20 here, and I added a 20 here. So now, before I took this breaker out, it was up here, 
and that bus right there the bus right there it's kind of melting or i don't say melting but yeah you could say that so i wasn't going to attach another breaker to that one so i put the new breaker on a clean terminal and i put this new breaker on the clean terminal and these two breakers on the clean terminal so uh, i told her she, she asked me if i think if i thought that um that this panel will last another month i said i can't say that because um uh i mean this stuff is like 50 years old so uh, so that's what prompted her to go ahead and get it done asap so we're gonna put these uh we're gonna put this on here so at least uh they'll have some measure of uh comfort in their home Okay, now let's do this one right here. And guys, look, now a panel this old, I went ahead and turned the, the breaker off, the, the main breaker off. I went ahead and turned that one off because I didn't want to take a chance on that. All right, so let's turn it back on here. Step out of the way. Okay. Turn all these back on. Okay. Let's check for power. Okay, let's go back through, check all of them one more time.
All right, guys, so we just about finished here. Oh, and I gotta put a blank right there too. So, we gotta take this one out right here. And then, you gotta pull that one out of there. Pull that one out. Okay. So now I need to go get a blank to put right here and we'll be done. Hey guys, thank y'all for tuning in again back at United Tradesman Academy.